If anybody wants to, there's these things in the pews called Rejoice Hymnals right here, little red books right here, and I know everybody out there has voices like angels, so if you'll turn to page 696, you can sing with us and join us in this, because what's better than rejoicing in the Lord?
this Saturday, correct? And get this, she's going to be graduating summa cum laude. Isn't that right? Amen, that's awesome. So we're very, very proud of, of Kendria, and uh, God is truly, truly blessed. Uh, got a lot of announcements today. Uh, we have our daily bread devotionals there in, a, in both foyers. Also, we need some more workers, right, Brother Clinton and VBS? So see, see Brother Clinton for that. That'll be here, by the way, before we know it. It's about a month away. Oh, by the way, happy May. Can you believe it's May the 1st? Where in the Man. world did April go? It just went, whoosh. I mean, it's gone. But uh, we thank the Lord he's given us another month to, to live. Also, we need to update our cooking list for our church families when there's an immediate family member that's passed away. If you can help in that capacity or provide some food, raise your hand there, Sister Janice. Sister Janice McIntyre, if you see Janice, and uh, she'll, uh, she'll give you the, what you need to do or whatever. She'll sign you up for that. Also, we do need more volunteers for the safety team. And see Brother Brian Duggar. Brother Brian's in the front for you right now at, at the door. See Brother Brian, and he'll, he'll sign you up for that. And hard to believe, but next Sunday is Mother's Day. My goodness. And we're going to be giving something out to every uh, lady 16 years old uh, and up. There'll be a, a small gift from the church. Then the Women's Fellowship, May the 9th. That's at 6 p.m. in the fellowship hall, and that is on a Monday. Then our men's prayer fellowship, May the 14th, that's at 9.30 a.m. in the fellowship hall. And then, of course, on the 15th, we will be uh, recognizing our, our, our graduates, all right? And you can see a bunch of news down below there, our youth news, so youth event. That's May the 3rd, so that's to this Tuesday. Uh, be leaving the church at 6 p.m., right? All right. And then, of course, uh, Zion Baptist Youth Rally on May the 11th. And the youth will be going to that at 6 p.m. So be here at 6. Then May the 15th, there is Hope, Tim Tebow Youth Conference. We're going to be going to youth already here, him. And then, of course, our homecoming. That'll be here, that's what, a little over a month. I'm real excited about Chosen Generation. These are two sisters. We heard them when we preached at uh, First Free Will for Brother Nathan Jennings. And they made a, a great impression on, on me and on our people that were there at that service. So they, they will be here with us on that Sunday morning. Of course, no church that night for homecoming. And then we go right into Bible school right after that. So that'll be the week of the 6th through the 10th. Uh, anything you want to say about that, Brother Clinton? or? Okay, did everybody hear that? That sounds good. Thank you, Brother Clinton. And then youth camp. We've got some signed up, don't we? Yes. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. So uh, we got some campers going, so that's awesome. And that's from, uh, that'll be on 19th, I believe it'll start, that's the Father's Day, right? And it's, it'll start on Sunday evening and go to Wednesday evening, coming back on Wednesday evening, right? All right, so we're, we're real excited about that. That's for 4th to 12th graders. If you need to know any more about that, Brother Clinton's got the registration forms. And let's see, have a, no, there's one more announcement. What's that, church? Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. He is coming. Anybody excited about that? Amen. He's coming. He's coming. I got one word. Leaving. <laughs> Amen. Leaving. When he comes, leaving. Yes. Gone. Faster than you can blink an eye or snap your finger. That could happen at any time. Boy, looking for the king to come. All right. Any birthdays in the past week? I know Steve, Stevie Jonas has had a birthday. and He's giving me his money there. Simon's had a birthday. 
13? 12, okay. Carolyn's had a birthday. Debbie's had a birthday and Brandon's had a birthday on the same day. All right. Hey, that's a good sign. My mother-in-law, seriously. Hey, Brandon, look at me. My mother-in-law's in heaven, but she and I had the same birthday too, so that's a good sign, maybe. <laughs> For Bobby, Bobby, Bobby had a birthday. All right. I'm not going to say any, uh, anything else, Brother, brother Russ. Stop right there. Uh, yeah. Somebody may be talking to me after church. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's sing happy birthday to these fine folk. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. How about wedding anniversaries? Any wedding anniversaries? All right, the Fleeners, Dennis and Robin. How many? 35. 35. All right, congratulations, 35. Let's sing happy anniversary to them. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, God bless you. Happy anniversary to you and many more. All right. Well, um, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss our children's church. Baby shower went real well yesterday, right, Sister Roman? Amen. And his name's Maverick. All right. Used to be a TV show came on when I was a boy. Maverick. Y'all laughing? You watched it too, didn't you? Hey, preacher's just a human being like anybody else. I'm saved. But I like to watch him old westerns and old movies and shows. And, amen. A lot better than what, what they're putting out today, I'll tell you that. Amen. All right. Have a gun, we'll travel. That's paladin, I know. <laughs> hey, you didn't have a whole lot to watch when I was growing up. We only got like one channel at a time. Sometimes we might get two, but we had them, how many remember them, old, them antennas outside the house? You had to go and turn it. We did that. Didn't want to do that in the winter time, though. But, uh, but we are blessed, amen? We are tremendously blessed. Let's everybody stand to our feet. We'll receive the Lord's tithes and offering. Glad you made it today. Ask our ushers to come forward, please. Scott, will you ask the blessing over the offering? Please and pray for us. Father, we
Thank you all so very much. Brother Justin Reagan's come with our special music. You pray for him as he comes to sing. Bless him, Lord. Until I ain't done this in a minute, I ain't got nothing hardly ready. I ain't got string pulled out. Nothing. That's all right. Y'all forgive me if I do this next song too high. And the last time I sung it was for the, for the youth rally skit. Um, I figured it was about time I sung the whole song. 
hear the voice of love that's calling. There's a chair that waits for you, and a friend who understands everything you go through. You keep standing. I feel like God's speaking to somebody, and I'm going to obey the Holy Spirit. Amen? Let's stand to our feet just for a moment. If the good Lord's speaking to your heart, won't you just move right now? Amen? He can see the way to carry. Yeah. situation to you. You know he's going to be in court tomorrow. Lord, we just ask your
behalf of Julie Bird. Amen. Believe the Lord to touch her right now. Julie Bird. Ju Julie Gillis. 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 Okay, Julie. Let's pray for her right now. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I know my brother Harley. On behalf of Julie. Lord, you have all power in heaven and in earth. And I anoint Brother Harley on her behalf in your name, knowing, Lord, that you have all power in heaven and in earth. And, Lord, I just lift up Julie and to you. I ask Jesus right now that you would visit where she is with her family. Lord, that you would fill that place with your presence and with your glory. Lord, that you would touch her right now. We love you, God, and we know that you sit on the throne. You inhabit the high and lofty place. You behold the children of men. And we know the things that are impossible with man are possible with God. So, Lord, I pray for this dear lady. I ask Jesus you'd give her a special touch from heaven. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. I pray for her precious husband and the whole family. God be with them now. And touch them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. It all. Amen. Somebody else, come on. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord bless it. <laughs> Somebody else, come on. Bring it to the table. He's here today. Obey the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, he's worthy to be praised today. Oh, church, it'd be all right. We just worship him the rest of our time. Hadn't he been good to you? Well, bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Somebody else, come on, obey the Holy Spirit. Come on, you know your need. Touch her and heal her right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up Sister Siren to you. Lord, you know she's in stage one of kidney failure. She has a cyst. But we know, Lord, that you are our healer. You're the greatest of all doctors. And I ask now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you'd lay your healing hand upon Sister Sarah. Lord, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, let her feel the power of God. Let her feel the virtue of Jesus coming over her now. We know, Lord, it's in your name and it's by your stripes that we are healed. We thank you and we praise you for it now. In Jesus' name, lay your healing hand upon her. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. We know it's going to be all right. Amen and amen. Love you. Appreciate you. Yes. Brother Charles Denton wants us to anoint him. Brother, why don't we? Yes. Something's wrong with his feet and his toes are killing him. How many believes the Lord can touch our dear brother? Oh, we love Brother Charles. Father, in the name of Jesus. I anoint my precious brother Charles in your name, knowing, oh God, that you have all power in heaven and in earth. And Lord, brother Charles has the faith, and Lord, we have the faith today. 
You said if any two or three of you shall agree on earth as touching any given thing, if we ask in faith, believing, and did not doubt in our heart, you said, Lord, whatsoever we ask you, you said you'd do it. So, Lord Jesus, I'm asking you now, Lord, to lay your healing hand upon his whole body. Lord, to touch his legs and Lord, to touch his toes and his feet. Lord, to quicken him by the power of the Holy Ghost. We love you, Jesus. And we know it's by your precious stripes that we're healed. Touch my brother now and bless him, God. Fill his cup and let it overflow. Whoa, glory with your blessings and your power. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Love you. Coming soon. Where the old will be made new. Oh, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Heaven's glory. Oh, yeah. Shines like a morning. Thank you, Lord. Somebody else obey the Holy Spirit. Come on. You have a need, He can meet it. Yes. When we all <laughs> see Jesus. Amen. No more sickness, <laughs> no more madness, yeah. no more pain. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. When we all see Jesus Mama. <laughs> face to face, glory. church. He's been good to you. Oh, bless the Lord. Ah, well, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. No more sickness. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody else, come on. Mm. We will. Let just stay right there. While the Lord, while the Holy Spirit's moving, if He's brought somebody to your mind and your heart to pray for, now's the time to pray would you sing here brother you can just sing that again whatever the Lord wants you to sing if that's you won't you come and use this altar right now let's believe God amen let's trust the Lord thank you Lord amen praise God somebody else come on I get lost Someone else. Oh, thank you, Lord. Streets of gold. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Somebody else. Yes, there's a day coming so soon. Mm. Where the old made <laughs> brand new. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Shines like the morning. Oh, yes. Somebody else, come on. See Jesus. Just let it escape. 
Cast your care on him. See Jesus. Mm. No more sickness. Mm. No more madness. No more pain. Oh my. Thank you, Lord. See Jesus. See Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, Brother Justin was singing that song. It says, begin with verse number 1. Behold, what, <laughs> behold what manner of love. Thank God. He said, look at it, see it, focus on it. Behold, what manner of love. Has anybody loved you any more than the Lord? No. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. <laughs> that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved. Hallelujah. That's what we are. In him. He's the beloved, but we're also the beloved in him. My goodness. Whew. Beloved. Ten years from now. If you're good enough. If you measure up. Maybe next week, maybe next month. No. Beloved, now. I like that word. Now are we the sons of God. <clears throat> and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. <laughs> But we know that when he shall appear, hallelujah, we shall be like him. <laughs> For we shall see him as he is. Does that stir your spirit? Does that stir you up? And every Man that hath this hope in him. Praise God, it's in you. It's in me. Purifieth himself, even as he is pure. There is no greater blessing than to be in Christ and to have Christ in us. So when the world's beating you down and, and the devil's coming at you, accusing you, he does that trying to make, get you down and keep you from worshiping and praise the Lord, you remind him he's a liar. And you let him know everything he's saying about you, the Lord isn't saying a bit of that. Tell him how much you're loved. There, hey, behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Is God generous with his love? Should we be generous with our love? God is. He's so generous that he sent his only begotten son to die on an old rugged cross for the whole world, for sinners. You also tell him you're a son and a daughter. Of God he has no claim on you he's to have no hold on you because we're being held by the nail scarred hand of Jesus the resurrected Christ amen you remember when just be seated for a moment I feel a little preaching coming on stay right there brother I'm gonna have you sing in a minute 
I thought, oh, I'm not going to have to preach today. There is no safer hands we can be in or arms as strong, as kind, and as loving as the Lord. When the world looks at you and looks at me, they may look down on us. But Jesus said to his disciples, don't consider it a strange thing, amen? If the world hates you, it hated me before it hated you. This old world is never going to accept us. But that don't matter. All that matters is that we are accepted in the beloved. The Lord accepts you and he accepts me. But he expects us to accept him. Is there somebody here today? You're lost. You've never been saved. You will never be loved with as great a love as God loves you right now and will love you. Don't give up on the Lord. He hasn't given up on you. The world don't know us. Notice it said, Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew, not, it knew him not. And then he says, beloved. Every now and then we just need to see that word. There's too much hate. Too much wickedness and vileness in this old world. Beloved. I like that, don't you? Amen. Beloved. I want you to know something. For all your failures and your shortcomings, the blood that Christ shed on Calvary has covered it all. <laughs> There's nothing else that I can do or you can do to make us more acceptable to God than what Jesus did when he offered up his life and shed his blood on the cross. There are people that are trying to perform. There are people trying uh, to merit. There are people trying uh, to maybe, oh, well, the Lord will love me more. No, he loves you with a perfect love. Now, could you and I love him more? Yes. The Bible says perfect love casteth out all fear. Beloved, when we die, then we'll be sons of God when we get to heaven. No. You know, there are people that come to church that have no blessed assurance. My friend, I would not want to live in that misery. If you don't know that you're saved... The conclusion is you're not. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. There you go. You got the proof and I got the proof living inside of us. And greater love hath no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. Oh, the love of God. You can't describe it enough or make it clear enough. Could we with ink the oceans fill? Hey, I'm thankful for that love. 
That love is in every born again, adopted son and daughter of God. Yeah. Do you know, if we had more of that love in people's hearts, there would be less war. Amen? Amen? I'm going to go ahead and say it. There'd be less divorces. And we'd have more peace in our hearts. If the Lord loves you and me like that, He expects us, yes, to love Him like that, but He expects us to love one another like that. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. John said, it's so great, I, I can't describe to you how great it is. That's what he's saying there. We'll just have to experience it personally, ourselves someday. So when you want to come down on somebody else, always remember. God loved you, and God loved me, every one of us, when we were unlovable. And he expects that same love to be extended to everybody. Amen? Love, my goodness. He said, it does not yet appear what we shall be. But let me tell you what I do know. He said, but we know that. Oh, glory. When he shall appear. Is everything going to change when he appears? Oh, my goodness. You better believe it's going to change. But we know that when he <laughs> shall appear. We shall be like him. Many times in this old life, the best we can do, we want to be like Jesus, but we realize there's times when we're not like Jesus. We don't walk like Jesus. We don't talk like Jesus. We don't live like Jesus lived. Are you getting the message today? I had no idea that I would be right here on this, but God, hey, God's in charge. It ought to be our goal every day to be more like Jesus. But as a dear brother that's in heaven used to say, on Sunday, we'd talk to Brother John Mooney. You'd ask Brother John, how you doing, brother? He said, I'm doing pretty good, but there's always a little room for improvement. Amen. If you don't think you have room for improvement, honey, you need a, you have a lot of room for improvement. If you think that you've arrived, we hadn't reached perfection yet, but there's coming a day when we will. Amen. Love. Thank you, Jesus. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. We should never, ever doubt how much God loves us. That's inexcusable. Am I right? It's inexcusable. We're going to stand to our feet. You've got a need. If you need to be saved, come on and get saved. Ask Jesus to save your soul, forgive you of your sins, wash you in his blood. You have a need, won't you come right now? We won't give you an opportunity to do that right now. Will you come? Come on. Let's go to A, Jason. He left the splendor.
bow please just for a moment he's going to sing here in just a minute another verse our heads are bowed our eyes are closed are you here today and the Lord is speaking to your heart you have some needs would you just slip your hand up and say it's me preacher pray for me God bless God bless God bless anybody else yes yes anybody else yes yes anybody else let's obey the Holy Spirit yes I see that hand anybody else you be here today and you're not a Christian you're not saved would you raise your hand and say please pray for me anybody at all while we wait just for a moment anybody I'm lost I need to be saved anybody Heavenly Father in Jesus name I thank you Lord for this service I thank you for all those Lord that have a need you know what it's all about and Lord we're just believing and we're agreeing together your name, Lord, that you're going to do it. Now, Father, as Brother Justin leads us in this next verse, I ask, Lord, you'd help these precious folk just to come and lay it all down at your feet. And we'll thank you and praise you for what you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Will you come? time please brother Justin are you thankful for his love today oh let him know it church let him know it right now oh yes Somebody else. 
else. Come on. that on this opportunity you may never have one like it again it's how much God loves you he's wanting to help you today whatever it is won't you come to it somebody else thank you Lord praise the Lamb of God amen yes is good all the time I think he can do better than that God is good all the time praise his holy name amen brother Charles Denton would you dismiss us in prayer please well we thank you Lord for letting us be here today and we thank you for letting us see your glory Lord and we know that all yes. of us believe in you, Lord. We know that you're going to help us, God. We Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to help us. Glory, Lord. Lord. We look to you, and God, we pray that you bless yes. everyone that comes to us. Amen. We pray that the Lord, that you touch them. Yes, Lord. Me, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you give them that peace. They pass it all understanding, just as you give to me. For I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.